Hi my friends, how are you doing? So you probably noticed I didn't publish anything on the channel for the past months or so. That's because I was busy moving to a new place, to a new neighborhood. So here am I, welcome to the new place, to the new studio. Uh, you can see it looks a lot like the old one, but it's a bit bigger and nicer, so that's gonna be great for the videos. And uh, anyways, yesterday I was changing my bass strings. I was really excited to try out the Dunlop Super Bright Stainless Steel bass strings. You can see what it looks like here. And uh, as I was pulling them on and tuning the D string, it just broke like uh, at the bridge side of the string, that little piece just like snapped. So that's really sad because I can't really play with three strings. I mean, it's a challenge, but ultimately I want to have four strings on my bass and I didn't find this one in the shop. So I need to order it again online and so on. So I'm not going to be able to play this set today, but I'm still going to show you the tone a little bit because I think it sounds really good. Well, I'm not that great at playing, that should give you a decent enough idea of what they sound like. I really like the sound, so I wish I had uh, all the strings. So that's it for this one. Now what I found in the store today, which uh, is probably going to be really interesting as well, is a Fender nickel plated steel. So it's not, it's not stainless steel. Usually stainless steel sounds a bit brighter and like really snappy for like slap and stuff like this. Uh, nickel plated steel should be what is the closest to that that they had available it's like made by fender so yeah let's put them on and see what it sounds like so i really hope this one is not gonna break as i put it in it's really the first time ever it happened to me with the download set that a string breaks as i tune it for the first time and uh, I've actually checked the reviews online and uh, I found out that a lot of people have experienced the same thing and many times with this set. So it's probably like the way it's made that this can happen. So I would advise to be very careful and expect it to happen maybe. Uh, but otherwise it never happened to me ever to break a string even like just in one video where I was doing something kind of stupid like slapping the strings super hard to try to pop the dust out of them or something like this and make them sound better like, really? and I broke one string but other than that it's not su really supposed to happen so I mean I'm pretty confident those are not gonna break anyways <laughs> They're brand new, so they're probably gonna shift a tiny bit as I play, but we don't really care about that. Let's see what they sound like. I don't sound great, the strings themselves sounds really good. So that's a thumbs up for me. The Fender uh, nickel plate still, really good. They sound a bit less bright than uh, the Dunlop ones, but at least it didn't pop when I, you know, put the strings on. So that's a, that's a good upside for me. I really appreciate that in bass strings in general. And uh, yeah, I really like the sound. So the next thing is gonna be to see how they do with time because uh, I'm really looking for strings that can hold like their, uh, their brand new sound for a, for a very long time. So we'll see how those are doing. 
and uh, I'll keep you posted about that. So that's it for today. Peace, my friends. Thank you.